Okay, we're here out at Fountainhead Cafe. Our biggest fans in Rochester, I mean Monaco. I need to get up ahead because it's raining. That's the future right there. Yeah. Chris, put your gun away. Yeah, put your gun away, Chris. How's the experience? The experience is fly right now, okay? This is the Fountainhead Cafe, the premier, the premier cafe in Beaver County. Yes. I should stop by. Including yeah. you, Dave. Yes. Dave already stops by. This has the workings to be uh, quite the experience. It does. Should have just. There's all the elements of the experience. Yeah. Candlelit ambiance right here. Micro bamboo. <laughs> yes. For a lot of the sacks which carry the coffee grounds. Pulsating early 90s animation. This is insane. And a whole couch area. Come on in, Hogan. I'd like to welcome everybody to. Uh, the head cafe. We've been here once before, but this is the first tour. Now, I gotta really appreciate what we've got going on right here. This is honestly one of the best things I've ever seen. I know. It's very, um, I wouldn't say it's uh, typical of our style, but it's something that we can appreciate mm -hmm. very well. Definitely. This is good. Really good. We should have our own stuff playing here sometime. We should. Uh, we should just make like a Neo Memes uh, entire series. Yeah, he'd actually put it up there. Here on his, yes. How's the experience? The experience is good. Let's join the experience over there. Yeah, let's join. Ben, same meme. Did you guys discover the big way? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be happy to. Actually, I love this sort of stuff because this is the this stuff is super cool to me. Yeah. And most people in this area don't. They just want to like push a button. and They're like, oh yeah, this is great. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the proverbial geeky thing when I hit reset. <laughs> Unplug everything. One of the other things that we kind of do is uh, like a surreal humor. Okay. So like that kind of stuff for a lot of like the gas station pizza and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean. Well, the funny thing was is that I thought you guys were real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And see, the thing is, Beaver County, it could be an interesting place. The problem is, it, it <laughs> is and it's not. The problem is, is that people don't want to sit down and look at reality. And they, and, but you know what? It's not just Beaver County. It's everywhere you go. And it doesn't matter whether it's Beaver County. It doesn't matter whether it's Pittsburgh. It doesn't matter whether it's Portland, Oregon. Which I've been to Portland. <laughs> it's a very scary place. <laughs> um, it, it really is. It's, it, Portland is not a place that I would want to stay very long. I mean, like Beaver County, like it's kind of run down from all the steel mills leaving, and like it's kind of, kind of just like a shell of what it used to be as well. Yeah, no, and it's really cool that you guys can recognize that because for far, like right now, everybody's on this cracker train. It's Crack not, it's... Okay, here's the duality to it. It will bring sure. No, no doubt about that, but the problem is when you look at what they actually did, it's like it will bring revenue, it will bring all these good things, but it's not going to bring this renaissance yeah. of Beaver County, and here's why. People say shop local. 
Okay, Shop Local is great. I love Shop Local. You guys are shopping local right now. In yeah. fact, God bless you for actually walking out of Third Street Beaver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We and and it's like the genericness of saying shop this, shop that. Like people don't. What what that really means is that shop local on Small Business Saturday and feel good about yourself that you didn't go to your local Starbucks. Now I'll be honest, I like Starbucks. I think they're a nice company. I think they do great. I kind of admire them in a lot of ways. I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, it's like, I can go to Starbucks. Yeah. I like Starbucks. The problem is, is that shopping local for the sake of shopping local is stupid. Because, I, because all you're doing at that point is mindless virtue signaling. And you're using a minority group to pat yourself on the back saying, aren't, aren't you good? You helped out the poor and downtrodden. <laughs> you shopped local. You know what? Screw that, dude. Come spend my money because you like my product. Yeah. You know, don't spend money because... Don't spend money because it's going to make you feel good about yourself that you helped out the little guy. I don't really need your charity. Although your charity is nice. I mean, I like your money one way or the other. But, you know, we've been here for eight years. Wow. Which, yeah, we've actually been here for a while now. And we've had our ups and we've had our downs. Most of it was my fault. And I admit to that. But it's like, it, it's always befuddled me because it's like, one, you know, I've lived in Beaver County my entire life as well. Um, I actually went to Beaver. And yeah, it is important that they're all color coordinated. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah, if they're, if they're not in color coordination, man, you're, you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. That's actually just a me thing. Like, it doesn't have to be color coordinated. It just makes life easier when you're driving or something. And if you're not organized, then you're just wasting your time. Me, what is a Eurorack synthesizer? Very cool thing, actually. It's been around for a while now. Um, what, what's really interesting, the, the best way to start about this is that the synthesizer has actually been around for years, like a long, long, long time. I mean, uh, in the 1960s, you had Bob Moog and Don Bugla, and they, one guy was on the East Coast, one guy was on the West Coast, and this is like a really super quick and dirty rundown. And they're like, hey, we want to make a new kind of musical instrument. And that was the synthesizer. And kind of, those two guys kind of started what they're doing. Neither one of them really knew the other one, except for like, did you hear about what this guy's doing? Did you hear about what this guy's doing? And it's not to say that the synthesizer didn't exist before that. I think it was like RCA who had one, and Leon Theremin actually had created like a, a, a simple version of one, the, the, the theremin. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah, you know what that is. And funny thing is, that's actually extremely old technology. It's very, very old. As long as there's been electron, uh, electricity, people have figured out how to make sound with it. So these two guys, Don Bukla and, and Bob Moog, they kind of came up with their own metaphor, if you will about how to synthesize music. And in my, in my interpretation of it, I basically say that this is the purest form of music. So the, sign, the, the, the waveforms that come out of this do not exist in nature naturally, if that makes any sense. Um, so you know, when we talk, we're, we're, we speak in waveforms, you know, and, and, that's, and that's how we speak. But it's not like it's a sine wave or a sawtooth or a square wave or whatever. It's whatever our also, you know, we, we have timbre, we have color, we have filters, you know, and we are basically speaking, and we're kind of like, I think we're like wind instruments or something like that, if we wanted to equate it. These guys take electricity and they process it in a way to create very pure tone. the experience. Don Head Cafe. Yes. That was incredible. Yeah, I know. Then we need to form our own sound. Yeah, Chris, we're changing our sound away from folk or whatever. Yeah, it was never folk. Yes. Alright, so we just left Fountainhead Cafe. Heading out to the CDF headquarters.
This is grime. Grime is a word that is now banned from the Oxford English Dictionary because of a Lenten promise by our fan and associate Adam Plenovich. Now, I don't believe that we had a vlog for the time that this happened, but this was at a local Darden-owned restaurant. You may have heard of it by the uh, colloquialized name Olive Garden. Now, on their fancy machine, we decided to sign Grime. Yes. It's the truth. I tried to get my mom to do that last time we went to Olive Garden. She said no. <laughs> Yes. You know what would be really aesthetic? Grimy recording. Yes. Rumble speakers. Even just my laptop recorder. Like, it gets progressively more intense. Yeah, the song. And towards the end, it's like... It's amazing. The new name for the it band. It hasn't even been revealed yet. Yep, but all we can say is that it's really good. It is. Ben, what's your opinion on the new name? It's bad, it's not, it's not the new name. Say what it is. It's not, no, I'm gonna be acknowledged because it's not the new name. Yes, it is actually. It's not. As a matter of fact, it is. Chris isn't in the right right now. The idea is that he's pushing, but I'm gonna say goodbye to the camera, and it's, um, it's the open experience. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's below, I think, right? There should be an annotation saying yeah. to come to our website. Yeah, there's an annotation to come to the website. And good night. Good night. You got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. Oh!